second, folks, see if I can get this. Normally, YouTube's switching up their, their live stream on occasion here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me on this uh, new microphone I have. Stand by for a second, just going to make sure everyone can hear me. Then we'll get the member drawing underway. Actually, got some beautiful skies out here. Nice and dark. I don't think we're going to get any uh, any storms, but uh, you never know. We'll let a few folks jump in here. Stand by for just a second. Testing out this new microphone as well. Too. It's got a little windscreen on it. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Oh, we got two people in here. Can I get a mic check? Mic check. One, two. Hello. It shows green on this end, so I'm thinking we're okay. So, all right. Sounds good. Thank you there, Dan. I appreciate that. Let me jump on to the camera view here. I'm a one-man team right now, so I'm going to have to... Uh, judge this on uh just on my my views here don't mind the casual out wait a minute that looks way up high that looks way elevated i'm thinking probably about right there should be good i guess yeah beautiful view out here We've got quite a few clouds coming in um i just that still looks way too high folks <laughs> It looks, but I don't think so because uh, this is in view. Let me double check. It helps to have Missy Mimi's here, but no, I think we're okay. I think we're all right. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. It's been a crazy day, let me tell you folks. So uh, welcome. I am the Earth Master. I'm just about as casual as you're going to see me in here. Normally I wear something decent like my Earth Master t-shirt and stuff like that, but I've been so busy, swamped, got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, a lot of stuff here with homework and school stuff going on, not to mention weather stuff. And did you guys see that dust storm out there in the panhandle of Texas? Absolutely brutal. I'm not even joking. That's uh, it's a little scary. I think they had about 90 mile per hour winds out there. No thunderstorms. It's just being pulled in from that low pressure. Uh, that's going to be kicking up the severe weather today across the Midwest. So, man, yeah, a whole bunch of. Uh, car crashes there on, uh, I think it's uh, Interstate 27 there, south of Amarillo. Pretty bad. Uh, huge pile up. So that's uh, not good. If I see a, a dust storm like that in my travels, I am pulling off the road and waiting until it passes. I mean, it's, it's sad. I don't know if there was any fatalities or anything, but uh, looking at some of the damage, there probably was. So let's go ahead and get this done. Um, doing a member drawing here for the members. Uh, we do this every single month. There's actually a rock in here, I think. Kids put kids put stuff all over. It's a piece of obsidian. So I'm not for sure where they got that, but it's in the it's in the fish bowl. So we'll go ahead and pick out a winner, folks. Uh, something we do every single month. It's uh, uh, pretty much a thank you gift to our members uh, for supporting us. Uh, you can win. Uh, most of the time, people want a $50 Visa card or MasterCard, digital card or a physical card. Or if you want an Amazon gift card, that's that's completely up to you as well. Um, or if you want an Earth Master T-shirt, like I said, I'm normally I am normally wearing it, but right now I'm just I'm sporting about as casual as you can, as you can get. Um, or a uh, geology mining kit. It's up to you guys, whichever you choose. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out one winner. The winner I pick out, please email me at earthmastermail at gmail.com, okay? We'll go ahead and mix this up, and uh, that's my ring hitting the glass. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll pick out one winner, see who we got here, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here it is. Looks like uh, Devon, is that right? Devon or Devon Miller? Hello. You're the winner. Give me an email. So sometimes we'll pick out two people, sometimes we'll pick out three people, but uh, I'll go ahead and choose one right now. Keep it simple. Uh, yeah, we got some a lot of low-level cape going on here with all these clouds building up. We got some blue sky over here as well, just uh, adding to some of the daytime heating. But there's not, uh, I mean, I don't think we'll see any storms here, at least where I'm at. Just kind of a cloudy day, a lot of low-level moisture, like I said, some 
some low level cape as well. Everything's super green. Picked up, uh, let's see what we got here. Picked up just about an inch and a half here. Man, it rained really hard this morning, really hard. So I believe most of that was from uh, this morning here, maybe a little bit from uh, yesterday's storm. But uh, yeah, just trying to keep stuff uh, handled out here. Missy Mimi's here got herself a little greenhouse. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's it's cool. It's pretty neat. I, I like to do my gardening outside, but um she's experimenting here with the greenhouse. She got she's got all sorts of stuff in there. I'm not gonna open it, but there's a uh, rosemary, mint, uh, a lot of starter vegetables and stuff like that. And it's pretty neat, just a simple one. It's doing pretty good. So but aside from that, uh Everything's still super green out here. It's been a nice winter as far as rainfall goes. I thought we were going to have a, a scary one for a little bit. I thought it was going to be super dry, but everything came in and uh, caught us up here with the rain. Been out here with the uh, lawnmower, the riding lawnmower here recently. And uh, if I didn't, the whole entire field would be pretty much... Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that false earthquake. In fact, I put out a video about it, but um, if I didn't mow the field, we would have nothing but these all over the place. That's a good old bull thistle. <laughs> I don't know if it's gotten used to anything other than just uh, kind of being a pain here. It's almost, almost impossible to eliminate it altogether, but... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep it under control. I got to get the weed eater out and cut those down. But uh, the earthquake, there was no earthquake, folks. And I know, I know how the USGS sometimes pulls quakes down. And maybe sometimes they may not report them. Um, or maybe they'll be downgrading an earthquake. But I, I'm not even joking when I say this. I lost like 20 subscribers on my video here saying that there was no earthquake. I mean, I'm here not to cause panic or fear mongering or spread lies, but there was no quake. There was no quake that happened this morning. Just because it was on the graph does not mean that there was an actual earthquake. And, you know, it's a, it's a shame that I lost 20 people. I don't even like to lose one person. But uh, at the same time there, I'm just speaking the truth. That's all I'm doing. And uh, the graphs, you know, if, if you looked on the graphs anywhere, there was no signs of any earthquake, whether it's a two-pointer or a three-pointer, let alone a 4.6. A 4.6 would show up drastically on all of the stations down there, and it didn't. So it's not a cover-up. The USGS is not covering this up. I'm waiting for them. Actually, I uh, sent them an email here asking if they could uh, clarify what happened with this earthquake this morning. Um, why was it issued, you know? Was it technical? It's got to be a technical issue. Um, but there was no there was no earthquake, folks, you know? And uh, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of spitting going on up there above me. A little bit of turbulence going on with the heating and this uh, cold air and a lot of moisture going on here. But anyway, so I'll kind of talk about that a little bit more in the uh, update video tonight as far as that earthquake goes. But there was no earthquake. I, I'd seen a few comments, someone saying that, yeah, there was there was uh, somebody, a friend of mine in Los Angeles felt it. Somebody up in Sacramento felt it. Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't there, so I don't know what they felt, but I know it wasn't the 4.6 earthquake. That's all I'm going to say. So, man, the kid's stroller or uh, kid's shopping cart got left in here. I have to clean that out. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, have a good day. We will catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. And uh, congratulations there to the winner. Please send me an email. We'll catch you guys. You guys see my doggy over here? Check him out. He's so awesome. Let me zoom in. Come here. Chopper. Come on. Let's go. Here he comes. Oh, man. I got to watch out here. Chompy. What are you doing, boy? Come here. Come here. He's like, no. Want to go back out here in the field? 
likes to go look for stuff out in the field here, but he's such a good doggy. Oh, I know. You're all muddy, boy. I, no, 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 no. Crazy dog. Anyway, all right, guys. I'll catch you out here a little bit later. I'm going to uh, get everything done that I need to get done and maybe watch some of these clouds out here. Looking pretty, uh, looking puffy. Pretty neat looking. That one's really starting to, I don't know, those clouds are working their way from the southeast, it looks like. The low pressure may actually be right over us right now, looking, all the, looking at all the motion here. Different layers of cape. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting looking here. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good day. We'll see you guys later tonight. Hello to everyone, Albert. Uh, everyone I missed here on chat, Timothy. We'll see you guys later.